Good morning, kindergarten friends. Miss Dixon here, and I'm ready to do some handwriting with you this morning. Today, we're going to be working on the letter uppercase H on page 28 of your handwriting book, the one with the fish on the front. So this letter has three strokes. So before we begin, Let's make sure that we're sitting in a good handwriting position. So you need to have your bottom to the bottom of your chair, your back to the back of your chair, and your feet flat on the ground. And then grab your writing tool and make sure you have a nice pencil grip. Use your non-writing hand to brace your book. So for this letter, you are going to... The first stroke is going to start at this green dot right here. You're going to start at the skyline, and you're going to pull down straight. Then you're going to scooch over to right here, and you're going to start at the skyline again and pull down straight. So you kind of have a number 11. It looks like you have two ones next to each other. Then for the third stroke, you're going to put your pencil tip on the middle of that first line that you drew. The middle is going to be on the dashed line, the middle line. And you're going to slide right, slide right to make an uppercase H. So let's try that again. We're going to put our pencil point on the, the sky line, the very top line, and we're going to pull down straight. Lift. Do a second line. Pull down straight. Lift. Put your pencil point on the center, on the dotted line in the middle of that first stroke and slide right. Let's keep trying. Pull down straight, lift. Pull down straight, lift. Slide right. Notice that none of my lines are going down into the dirt. None of my lines are going below the red ground line. And none of my lines are going up into the sky, above my skyline. None of them are coming up here either. We want to make sure that this is a tall letter, but it doesn't go above the line or below the lines. Let's keep going. Pull down straight, lift. Pull down straight, lift. Slide right. Pull down straight, lift. Pull down straight, lift, slide, right. Also notice, are my, my stroke where I'm sliding right, is that coming on the outside of my two pulling down straight lines? No, it stays right in the middle, right inside those two lines. So let's come down here where it gives us the green dot so we can try all on our own. Pull down straight, lift, pull down straight, lift, slide, right. Okay, I'm going to try my first one all on my own. Pull down straight, lift, pull down straight, lift, slide, right. Pull down straight, Lift, pull down straight, lift, slide, right. Pull down straight, lift, pull down straight, lift, slide, right. Notice these lines are straight. We want to have straight lines. Oh, no. This one is not is not exactly like how I should be doing it because look, my lines are going too far. These lines are going down into the dirt and this line is passing 
my two first strokes. I need to be more careful and slow down. Oh, that's better. And so you're going to continue to practice until you run out of green dots. So you will fill up this whole line. Then you're going to come down here and it says write the letter H above the pictures that begin with the letter H. So I'm going to say each picture. Hmm, this is a hat. Does hat begin with the letter H? <sighs> hat. Yes, it does. So I'm going to write an uppercase H here. Then I'm going to come over here and say the next word. Sandwich. Does sandwich begin with an uppercase H? Nope. And I'll do that for the rest of the pictures. I'll say the word. I'll think. Does that begin with a H? If it does, I'll write it above. Then I'll come down here and I'll write the uppercase H to complete the sentence. So I'll put my H right here. And then I'll trace the rest of the sentence. Keep going. Then it says, is your pencil position correct? Let me look. Am I holding my pencil the right way? Yes, I am. So I'm going to check yes. If I'm not, I'm going to fix it. Then I want you to circle your best letter H that you wrote. Hmm, which one looks the most like the example? I think that this one is my best H. Now, which one is my not so best H? Which one's the one that I didn't do my best on? Hmm, I think this one because my lines are going too far. So I'm going to put an X on that one. Okay, friends, I can't wait to see how your uppercase H's turn out. Have a great morning.